Hello, Video Game Haunty here, and welcome to another unboxing video. And today, you may notice that um, my setup for my unboxing videos this time is quite differently. For example, I now have a table, which I actually always had. But what's actually really new in this unboxing video is the fact I am now using a GoPro that I recently gotten about a week or two ago. I bought this so I can extend my video editing. So now, my videos will be a lot more professional. And plus, this will be really useful when I go to conventions. And especially when I go game hunting. Maybe. But that said, um, the main reason I'm doing this unboxing video because uh, after my last video, which I did a video reaction to Quartz Party, the anime, which, by the way, that's really gruesome. If you don't believe me, check out my reaction video at the link down below or, you know, my usual links at the end of my videos. But, um, after I made that video, my CEO of the Console Explosion and a couple of other fellow furries on Fruzu.com, um, left comments on my link saying, hey, um, a new Quartz Party game recently came out for the 3DS. I was like, oh, cool, I, I guess I'll go ahead and check it out since this is still the Halloween season. So, what the game is called? Well, the game is called Corpse Party Back to School Edition. Now, I don't really know much about this game, but but I thought it was kind of strange that it is on the 3DS. Hmm. I'm a bit surprised, Nintendo. You even, even allow this. I bet this American version is censored. Because I know Nintendo of, of America. They love censoring things. But that said, let's take a quick look what's inside of this box. And you know what? I don't even have to cut to my table over there. We can, st we can start doing this unboxing right now. So let's, let's go ahead and do this. First, let's look at this cool little box here. It's a bit bigger than my usual 3DS boxes of games. See here. Colt Party Back to School Edition. It includes two customizable Colt Party figures and soundtrack CD. Nice. I love music CD. Got that? I love music CD. Experience the tale of an occult charm that goes on. A group of friends find themselves in a cursed otherworldly elementary school hunted by adventure, adventure spirits. Solve the mystery of the deadly place and return home if you can. I wonder if this is another occult part of remastered. If so, I don't know if I might play this or not, but that's okay. Figures shown smaller than the actual size, not for children contain small parts. Okay, so those figurines might be a bit small, but that's okay. Uh, I do like oh, I do like the um, box for this. It's a schoolgirl being freaked out of her mind, scared, and there's a ghostly hand on her shoulder. I'm guessing it's a ghost. It could be one of those evil, evil. What's I'm going to say. Spirits, but that's pretty much a ghost. And you also notice the figurines are right here, so they pretty much gave away how big the figurine size is going to be anyway. But that's okay. Let's see here now. Let's open you slowly. Oh, well, would you look at that? Um, the figurines are like my um Judge and Travel games for the PSP. Which Judge and Travel was it? Ah, oh, yes. I believe that two or one. Oh, this is no, this is the first one. This is, ba this is basically kind of like my Dungeon Travelers for that came out for oh, Japan only for the PSP in a way. It's kind of like it's kind of like this, except this one has way more pieces. This one only has like just the head and arms. Oh, that's Kind of disappointing. While well, this one gives you many faces and clothing to choose from, this one has so much. What do you expect? Um, <laughs> I never really like what um really anything we really get that's from Japan to the U.S. Uh, collection edition. Usually not that great, but so far I think the ones I unpacked so far were pretty much okay. All right. So that said, 
That looks, like I said, not as good as my... Or as I said, Dungeon Travels for the PSP. And so it is a Corp Party Music CD. Um, oh, it contains 41 songs. That's awesome. <laughs> I know I mentioned this before, but whenever that time I unbox a, um... Well, I think it might have been actually a Dungeon Travel game. Gosh. I actually unboxed one of the Dungeon Travel games. Might have been for the Vita or the PSP. It was one of them. And they only gave, like, gave you, like, five songs. And five, five songs is not enough for something I paid, what, about 80 to to $100 for? Yeah, not worth it. But, according to this, this has 41 songs. Wow, that's... That's enough to last me for quite a while. Maybe that, that could be, um two hours of music for me to listen to. Nice. Alright, so let's put you to the side, and now let's look at the game, shall we? And here's the case, and there's not much I can really say about it. It's basically what, it basically looks exactly the same as this. And including the back. Yeah, really the only difference is this one's bigger, and the, 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 all the pictures are so smaller here. Smaller in the front and back. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's inside. All right, and now there we go. I finally open it. Ooh, now that's that's kind of neat. I'll put the game right there for now, but <laughs> that, that, is, that, that is pretty that is pretty neat, Nintendo. So what Nintendo did um, inside the game case is there square holes in here. And each of Square Horse contains actually a face of the characters in the game. That is pretty neat. That's actually pretty creative, Nintendo. I'll give you credit for that. Now, for the game, you, you know, it's your typical, it's just the title on the game card. Nothing too special. And the manual. Well. At least the check on the front cover of the game case is okay. The one on the manual is completely dead, it looks like. I wonder what happened to her. Okay, it looks like it's the same characters as the games I, put, I played recently, like on the PlayStation Vita. I'm just wondering if this is like a sequel or a remake or a prequel, but it's actually most likely not a prequel. Alright. Alright. Okay. I guess I soon have to find out. Now, I know usually at the end of these type of videos, I usually show a gameplay of the game that I says unboxed. Well, sadly, since this is a 3DS I says unboxed, you won't see any gameplay footage this time around. Which sucks because I love um, showing on gameplay footage at the end of my unbox it because it really shows you what game you're actually getting apparently my camera is getting low battery so i really have to end this video guys it dies that quickly uh, i need to get by um stronger battery so it can so i can use it longer so again that's it for today um this is the video game hunter and until next time goodbye Thank you for watching my video. Please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and even art. If you have some free time on your hands, please check out the console explosion and other features on the site. Well, again, until next time, goodbye.